Okay, I'm um, back in Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, R16. And tonight I'm going to start my Grand Tour. So, let's head over to the tour guide here. See what he says. Right then, so... The Mad Hermit has already uploaded a very concise video showing where all the uh, tour guides are. Uh, right, Spectral Mines was one of the last Grand Tour. Solis Bridge. Arduist, which we saw in the, in the first video, and the Necropolis. So we have to head uh, head off to back to Arduist because everything is around the perennial coast again. I think I'm going the right way. Yes. So yes, I was saying that the Mad Hermit has already uploaded a nice short video with uh, just the highlights. He does that every time. I recommend if you're at all interested in Shadow the Avatar that you uh, check out his channel. Uh, me, I just generally record myself playing through finding, uh, finding all the tour guides. I will back out and uh, edit unnecessarily long um, attempts at finding one or the other. And, and just uh, do it more directly but mostly it's a playthrough from starting to finish or you know the scenes are continuous even if as I play them they sometimes weren't so yes this will probably be a reasonably long video I'm aiming to do two or three actually in this uh, this video let's head off to Ardris there's one in Ardris. There's the uh, Necropolis, which is a new area in this release. And uh, then back through towards. Oh, interesting sparkles. Back through towards um, past Ardris, towards Solis Bridge, to get the one in the village there, and then. Tomorrow's video, I'll do the last two, which look like they will be a bit more involved. Now, since I've done, since I did my first look video yesterday, there have already been three patches, which allegedly fix several several issues. I think the issue I was having with inventories and stuff last time uh, was fixed. There was apparently an issue with the vendors, vendors and uh, things locking up if they already had a window open when you tried to open a window. So I think that sounds like that could be the same issue as, what, as I was experiencing. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to try it right now anyway. I'm just going to uh, trundle through. Uh, it's deepest, darkest night. Try not to walk into the seat. So there are some somewhat weird effects, aren't there? Yeah, this Unity 5 is new. It's all going to pay off massively in the end, I'm sure. But uh, a lot of a lot of uh, lighting and texture weirdness in the short term which you're just going to have to pull up with I guess and that's what you get for uh, playing early access games at the end of the day you can't expect everything to be perfect every time oh let's not fall off now since I discovered all these things yesterday should be less hassle today Someone was talking. So Arduis, 
Now, to me, it did seem fast to get into Ardus yesterday than what it has in previous releases. Uh, I expect now it's, you know, it's Friday night. We could be a lot busier on the servers tonight than what we were last night. See how it goes. But I did uh, for the videos last time. I did actually chop out the uh, waiting of getting to Ardus of quite a few times because it was taking three minutes or more. So we leapt up to 50% here, 67, doesn't look like we're going to be anywhere near 3 minutes, which is a clear improvement, well maybe I was playing too soon, I don't know, oh, I don't know, oh, I just need to keep blathering on now, since I've talked through the transition, it's going to make it much more hassle to take it out. So I did come across the Ardris tour guide yesterday. Uh, basically standing beneath a uh, great big statue. So we'll trundle off and uh, find him and then we'll head out into the uh, Novia Old Overworld and locate the Necropolis. Oh, my light has finished. Let's have more light. Alright, I have enough trouble, there we go, so, you know, during daylight hours I have trouble spotting the steps from these set of docks. Right, so let's see if you can see the, uh, you've got to like this guy haven't you? So there's a big ass statue somewhere, somewhere towards the middle of town. And the tour guide is standing in front of it. There's a big ass statue, you can see it in the distance. My light is clipping over it for some reason, but behind the mountains. Interesting effect isn't it? The light goes behind the mountains but in front of the statue. Like I said, it's an early access game, don't expect it to work perfectly. I mean, really, that's a minor thing. It's a bit amusing to look at. I don't think if I was actually playing, playing, uh, playing seriously, it would make any difference to me. Exactly what the uh, the clipping of the light did. Now, can I get through here? No. How do I get around the market? Everything looks different at night. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go, big ass uh, tree. Big ass statue. Tour guide. Lots of people. Some of them already got the mask, that bloke for instance. Let's talk to the tour guide. Hello. I wrote this in my journal. Soul Town, Spectral Mine, Solid Spirit, and Necropolis. Alright, so yes. As I said. What's in my journal? A whole load of crap, I should think. There we go. Yeah, that's all tour guides. That was last. Well, it was this month, I suppose. Right. Go away, journal. Now, one thing, while I'm here, I want to head over to the Oracle and just see if I can interact with the Oracle now. Steps, can I do the steps? Because I couldn't yesterday. I can! Woohoo! Blessing of the virtues. It's not very responsive. 
No, after I cancel. Yeah. Path of truth. Go. Yeah, path of love. I've shown much affinity with the virtue of love recently. I can't help thinking this is something a bit random. I don't know what what I need to do to show affinity for love or courage or any other other stuff. Right. Let's see if I can remember how to get out in the dark. Oh, there we go. Go across this great big bridge. Sure, we'll be doing that soon. It goes beyond the mountains again. It is kind of funny, you got to admit. It's fine as long as it stays up in the sky there. Uh, we've lagged. Oh, there we go. Oh, my light's faded. Out we go. Entering Novia from Ardoris. So this shouldn't take too long. Novia should be fairly quick. I don't know how busy it'll be tonight, mind you. I might, I might slow it down a bit. So what we're we doing? I've been about ten minutes. I've managed one tour guide, which isn't bad going really. Last time I was doing like one every half hour. I think some of them were particularly tricky. Let's have some more light. And now I can illuminate the whole city with a tiny little light. Right, the necropolis is along this way. Now apparently these weird sparkles are a bug. And some of them have been addressed and others haven't. But again, not that important, just a little weird looking. The perennial trail. Now, last time the perennial trail was a, uh, a destination. A oh, destination with a tour guide in it, anyway. Oh, there's someone. Someone who presumably has just been to the necropolis. Now, because I watched uh, the Mad Hermit's nice, succinct video. I think it's this way, and if it isn't this way, I'll uh, go back to uh, go back to our address and do it again. Yeah. I can't help but think I'm going the right way though, seeing as how everybody else, everybody else has been coming. Necropolis Barons. I assume that's it. Let's go. So since I've passed two people on the road, it's entirely possible this is a very busy area. I guess a bunch of other people have been watching uh, the Mad Hermits uh, videos when they're eating the tea, like I was. They're now fully equipped. Alright, let's start to get daylight. Oh, interesting. What happened there? There was a message. Ah, was I facing towards the exit when I spawned? Was that it? Oh, somebody saluted me. I saw any messages there. Again, I'm paying no attention to uh, 
anything going on in chat. I did look up the hotkey for it last time. Alright. Who's this? Me Novella. Alright, so I think this is the way to go. Not in fact that way, right. Starting to get daylight a bit. I'm off the path here, am I? Oh, I'm being pursued by giant spiders. Let's go this way. I can't get up there. So, let's carry on round on the path a bit. This is indeed the path. And what we want to get is up the top there. That isn't the way. What's this? Oh, skeleton. Large skeleton footman. Dear. Skeleton. Why am I not attacking the skeleton? Alright, there we go. Skeleton's dead. Yeah. There's more going on. This mean of valor person seems to be quite effective though. So the fact that she was there seemed to indicate I've come round. Let's just have a look. Above where I was before, aren't I? Oopsie. There's dead skeletons. What's in here? Ah, it's quite groovy, isn't it? Ah. 
Oh, that is nice. And here, there's some people talking to a tour guide. Ta da! Progress. Ardress and Necropolis. Right. So, I'm going to head to Soul Town for my last one of this video. Is there an exit nearby? What do you reckon? Quite a lot of graves. What's this? Oh, let's harvest the nightshade. 86% chance. I might even get that then. Success! Somebody's been slaying skeletons. So it's full in daylight now. I think this is the path I was trying to find before. Yes. That way out. Yes. There we go. So it would have been that simple if I'd have just gone the right way, I'm sure. Still, that's not bad. 20 minutes. I've ticked two off the list. I think the uh, the idea is it's a bit easier this time, the, uh, the Grand Tour. It's partly to do with what I was talking about last night with them balancing the balancing the, the perennial coast for new players since as I understand it this is gonna be like the starting area when the game is, is finally released. Alright, you can see the glistening things are actually grass. You know, I miss the road. Miss the road some more. Less chat and more concentrating on where you're going, perhaps. Well, perhaps, you know, there won't be any fun in that, would you? West Perennial Trail. More happy adventurers on the road. So one of the fixes uh, I was reading in the patch notes was uh, reduce the chance of a random kit encounter by 50%. I've not had any yet, so seems like that worked. So back to Ardress. We're not going in though. We're going to cross this way to find Soul Town. So, Soltown is just before Solace Bridge, and Solace Bridge is over this way sometime. Right, that's not it, is it? No, that's Guru Cost. That's this one. Elston. These are all that. Uh, Claire Towns, you'll be able to have houses in, in the fullness of time. Alright, hang on. Is this right? Soul Town. Enter. So, this one should be a very straightforward one to find, because Soul Town, at the minute, is eerily similar to uh, Bremer. Because it is in fact identical in almost every respect, apart from being called Soul Town and being on a different continent. So it should be if I go along the road, we'll see like a market square thing. And I suppose the player houses is going to be different, aren't they? Assuming these are player houses and going past I think they are, I'm not going to stop to check. Yes, follow the path. Any fly things. And we will come to a little main street, which will look a bit familiar to us all. 
And somewhere up this main street will be a merchant, a skills trainer, and a tour guide standing in the dark. Oh, Mr. Tour Guide. I wrote it in my journal. So, tomorrow's adventure, Spectral Mines and Solace Forest. Now, Spectral Mines is a bit of a tough one. Uh, it was on the last tour as well. Uh, I escaped the Spectral Mines by dying. That was my, that was my approach. And, oh, I seem to have uh, froze something up. Where's my mouse cursor gone? Interesting. There we go, I'm back. The man walking through me. Just like that. Have I discovered lots of things? Not really, no. Yep, so tomorrow we shall uh, look for the last two.